Hey, what's up guys? My name is Faison, and in this video, I'll be answering a question I got from one of my viewers. And that question is, how can you build the best possible science Olympiad gravity vehicle releasing mechanism? So make sure you stay tuned until the end because I'm going to give you a real life example that will help skyrocket your gravity vehicle's performance. Before we get into the video, please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos just like this about science, technology, and engineering every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And finally, a special thank you to Henry for requesting this video. I'll put his comment on the screen right now. So if any of you guys have a question or topic you want me to go more into depth on, make sure you leave that in the comments below and I'll make a video about that topic just like this one here. Now, let's get right into the video. If you're in the market for trying to build the best possible science Olympiad gravity vehicle release mechanism, then there's one key concept you have to understand if you want to make those adjustments. And that key concept is that consistency is everything. And what I mean by consistency is that you should be able to launch your car the exact same way every single time. And the reason that this is so important is because you have to be able to accurately predict how your car is going to travel so that you're able to adjust for it in your second run and get that perfect launch. Now, if you're in practice with an inconsistent launching mechanism and you happen to get that perfect launch and get that perfect result, that means zero in your own benefit because if you go into the competition and you launch your car the exact same way, there's no guarantee that you are going to get that exact same launch because you're not able to have that same type of predictability. And the worst type of launching mechanism I see people using right now is sticking the pencil right into the gravity vehicle and holding it there. Or using some sort of hook attachment to grapple onto the car and hold it in place. That is too inconsistent because of, of friction. And I talk about friction in a lot of my other videos, so you can check those out if you're interested. But friction is the detriment to consistency. We know that friction is bad for your wheels and your axles in terms of speed and distance. But friction is even worse than consistency. Now, friction is it's something you want to minimize to the best of your ability. And the way you minimize friction is by reducing the amount of contact between the releasing mechanism and your actual car. So using the pencil and even just that little amount of friction can cause a great amount of inconsistency. So in just a moment, I'm going to go over the best way that you can easily implement a launching mechanism for your gravity vehicle with the least amount of friction. But I just want you to understand that if you want to build a good launching mechanism, you have to have a consistent system. And in order to have a consistent system, you want to reduce the amount of friction as possible, as well as the surface area of contact between the launching mechanism and the vehicle. So what you're looking at right now is the releasing mechanism that I found to be the easiest to implement and the most consistent that you can use. So basically, all you need are three different things. You need the you need a loop of string, a screw, and then a bolt on your vehicle. And then you just have to drill a hole onto your uh, top platform of your ramp. And then obviously you have a pencil right here, which they will provide you in the event as stated in the gravity vehicle rules. But basically this launch mechanism works like this. So there is a screw that anchors this loop of string at one point and a pencil that anchors the string at the other point. And then this bolt pulls down on this loop of string. I'll move my hand over. This bolt pulls down on this loop of, this bolt right here. It's attached on this vehicle and it pulls down on this loop of string as so, and that holds it in place. But if I want to release the vehicle, all I have to do is pull the pencil out and the gravity vehicle rolls downward. And the reason that this launching mechanism is such a great way to go about designing your gravity vehicle ramp is because 
This reduces the friction by a great amount because the only amount of contact is between a tiny bolt, this tiny bolt right here, a tiny bolt and a loop of string. That's almost as little amount of contact as you can get between your launching mechanism and your car. And if you want to learn more about how, about how you can design the best possible launching mechanism, I'll leave a link in the description below that will take you to my website. So if you're interested in more information, make sure you check out the link in the description. But more on this, all you need is I, drew, I drilled a, about a 1 4 inch hole right here and I put a screw right here. The screw side doesn't matter. All that matters is that you have a screw or some protrusion up here that holds this in place. And I think if you want to improve upon this system, the best way would be to have some sort of lever to, to make it more indirect, to make the pencil less involved with the entire system. Because this is something that you have to move manually and you have to like move in a way that may not be consistent every single time and there's a lot of force on this one piece. But if you have some sort of lever that, that is able to lift the string off a pin, then you can push that lever with the pencil to do the same mechanism. But again, the general thing I want you to understand is that this system works so well because it's so little, there's so little friction between the system and the car, and that leads to a great amount of consistency, at least for the launching part. Now the ramp has to be a little bit different in shape or whatever, and there are other things you have to consider if you want to be the most consistent in terms of your gravity vehicle, but if you're talking about just a launching mechanism, this is by far one of the best ways to do it. And if you're worried that you may lose a string, you could always make extras and you can even change the height of the car. You could make a larger loop and have your car start down up here or you can use a shorter loop and start your car further upwards. And if you, you can even make more loops in case this, uh, in case this uh, loop breaks, you can make another one, hook that onto your screw and then hook the other end onto your pencil and then you just pull it so it's taut. Hold on. Oops, pencil's falling out. We'll do that again real quick. Okay, hook it onto the pencil and the screw. And then when you're in your competition, you'd obviously have your partner to help you with this, but depending on how well you build this mechanism, you probably won't need one, but just to be safe. All right, so just like that, you built something that is extremely consistent. Although it may get take a little bit of getting used to in order to set it up in a relatively fast speed. But if you want something that works extremely well and is extremely consistent, I highly recommend that you guys check out this releasing mechanism. And obviously you can check the link in the, you can check the link in the description below that will take you to my website to learn more about this topic. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. Drop any questions or feedback in the comments below. Follow me on social media. The link to those and my page will be on the screen right here. And please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos just like this every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stand phased.